What's up guys, it's GP Sunny Fan Motorsports here and welcome back to Moon Path to Elsewhere. Yeah, so uh, in the previous video uh, we did some things. Basically we just started our journey over here to the uh, magical Khajiit homeland. Which is, yeah, you know, which is where uh, Karjo is from, obviously. Um, but anyway, so yeah, let's check our quest journal here. Um, because, no, we're not ready to do <laughs> Okay, let's, let's check our quest journal here. Um, which one was, okay, escape, yes. See, it's, you get out of the loop uh, quite easily with, with Skyrim, I find. But anyway, so yeah, the sweet taste of elsewhere. Um, we're basically told to find Amir, a uh, Kashyyyk king uh, named Amir in the, um, waterways of elsewhere. And, um, this is all we did, uh, last, uh, last time. So, yeah, basically we just, uh, start our journey to elsewhere. So there's really not much to get brushed up on, but... If there's a, um, uh, if you want to, if you want to get brushed up anyway, then BOOM! There's an annotation right there in the upper left-hand corner that you can click and go and watch the, um, previous part. So, hi, River Crab. Yeah, so, through this door lies the way forward. Holy mother! Okay, that's that's one way to start a level. Crouch. Kill awesome death squad, are you ready? Yep. And then Boom! Didn't do as much damage as I'd like! Gather, gather! Run! For all your freaking worth! Go! Control! Oh shit. Excuse me. Sprint! Oh jeez, okay that that was car joke there. Okay. Oh, I was so not ready for that. Who's Kreeju? Oh, I gotta go back and get Kreeju. Because I told her to wait. So, run. Run like the wind. I completely forgot about Kreeju. That, that's, a, that's a nice way to start the video. Completely forgetting about one of your companions. Especially in Skyrim, where there's a whole bunch of... Like huge fights and life or death scenarios that you really have to get dealt with as soon as possible. Um, where is she? She was up here, right? Yeah. Okay, so I believe up here, and then would you kindly move? Okay, there. And then um, yeah, she is somewhere. Can you hear? Yeah, she's she's up there definitely. She's a spriggan, so you can sort of tell where she is at all times. Command. Follow. Okay, so... Anyway, actually continuing our journey. Let's see what we have. Um, yeah, this doorway. I'm just gonna cut out this next loading screen if I can remember to post that in. Because... I doubt you guys would like to see the same editing, uh, the same loading rather screen again. And we're back if I did actually cut out. And yep, we are actually continuing our journey this time with the entire Kill Awesome Death Squad. Um, so what, where, where are we precisely? Oh my. Okay. Boom. Got this dealt with pretty, pretty much, I think. Yeah, let's just back away here and make sure we're actually okay with everything. Did I just kill creature? Yep, I apparently did. And there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the AI in this mod isn't spectacular, so even I can just sort of blaze through this stuff. What is that that we've got patrolling the waterways up there? Right there. We've got a couple of these rude dudes. At least I think they're rude dudes. Yep, they are. Xylus nestlings are 
very bad. So back away, back away. Man, they've got some crazy thick skin, though, being able to build a crossbow bolt. Are you dead? Yeah, apparently are. And then what else? What else is there? Something... An apprentice necromancer? What in the world? Ah! Where? Oh, there. Well, strange that. She's also dressed in about the, uh, most revealing armor I've ever seen. Okay, then. Well, moving on quite rapidly. There's really not much to talk about here. There's just, there's just sort of the same old meandering, almost maze-like sort of thing that, that we've got going on. It's quite a bland level as far as his layout goes. I'm not going to lie, but it is decorated really freaking nicely. You'll have to, you have to admit. I mean, look at this. It gets better at the end, I promise. Oh! <clears throat> Great dodge there, GP. You could have seen that coming a mile away. Yep. Anyways, uh, Karju's got that. Yep, and the jungle, jungle Queen hatchling is mine, I think. No, Karju's got it as well. Of course he does. And I accidentally killed Creature again, but yep, she's gonna resurrect. Or she has already resurrected. Good lord, we killed this? <laughs> Whoops, game crash. That happens sometimes when I'm op opening my inventory. Back in a sec. And we're back. I just decided to skip through that entire fight again for you guys because it doesn't really serve a point now, does it? Um, anyway, yeah. Continuing along this meandering level. What do we have? I think there's some more enemies placed just up ahead. These uh, river crabs, by the way, unlike regular mud crabs, aren't hostile, so you don't have to fight them. What's detecting me? Something is detecting me. Never mind. Um, this was oh, okay. Yep, I was right. And I do have some explosive arrows on me that I just created myself. Yeah. Yep, that did about four points of damage. Good luck trying again next time, son. Uh, we'll creed you get out of there. Shh, I almost blew myself to smithereens. Creed you! Seriously. I wanted to get out of there because I didn't really know what was gonna... Well, I, I didn't want to blow her up. Okay, so is this uh, the end of the level? It looks like it. Very nice place, too, as well. Everything, every area in, my, in this mod is pretty damn nice, come to, come to think of it. So, are you... Wow, my game is actually running too fast? That's... what well, feels like at least, but... You are Amir, yes! So... about this place. You get used to it, but nothing compared to the journey from Skyrim. Yes, we have heard tales of you, my friend. Surprised to find anybody here to hear any tales. What do you do here? You must have noticed the palmer guarding us. We are essential to the moon shopper, my friend. And in a manner, we are the main emissaries for them. Hmm. Uh, are you the leader here? The leader? Every Khajiit in their own pillar. We follow only the moon and the main. But in a sense, I command respect amongst the folk here. Okay, so, um, look at these giant cats. They speak to me as, uh, as if I'm their master. They do? Such an honor. They must have felt great things in you. They speak to you in your own tongue, I guess. Honor yeah, they do. Indeed. I'd like to learn more of the Pamar. I'm sure you would, but it's not allowed. Ailid can tell you a little. Go speak to her. Okay, so... It's not allowed, so just... To, so I'm just going to shift it to my companion who's going to break the law for me. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. Let's go up here and then jump down here and make sure we can actually get to Elite. 
Amir says it's an honor to that the Pamar speak to me. It is indeed. It means what? they have accepted you amongst them. No one besides us has been allowed to wander these waterways in this age. Mm. Two things. One. Are you tripping? Because that voice is in this age, you must be absolutely tripping balls. Uh, and second of all, I don't feel like I was walking on all fours. Or I don't feel like I—I I don't feel like walking on all fours. I thought, are all travelers from Skyrim dense like the jungle? It You're. Means you are allowed to live here and rest in safety. The Pomer will guard you. I'm dense, but you are sparse as a cloud lady. Airy as a cloud. I have to go. See you soon. And Get off the sugar. Always follow the moon. It always leads to your destination. I'm sure it does. Uh, okay then. So... That was an encounter. Um, what's up here? Uh, uh, have I been here? I can't remember. I mentioned in, in, in the previous part that I've... Well, yeah, I have actually. Tinmar Cathedral? What? Uh, I can't remember actually if I've been here, so... Hmm. Let's, uh, open up the quest journal. And... see what this is. Um... Well, you, it doesn't... There's, there's no quest, so strange enough. I'm just gonna go ahead and explore it anyway. Uh, okay, I don't think I'm welcome here. Judging by the number of Jungle Queen spiders. There's one over here, and there's one here, and I can hear more. There's that one that I just now noticed. And some other stuff over there. Am I? No. I'm not welcome here at all, so let's just get rid of this shit. And this stuff, rather, and see what we have. I think I was up on a platform. Um, okay, this over, this over here, this one over here, can't get to it. And Creature was gonna try to box me in, but fail. Hmm, very interesting place here. Is this? Yeah, it's open to the sky. It just doesn't look like it because it's so foggy. So it looks like you've got sort of an artificial ceiling with trees growing in it for some reason. Oh hi! What is this? Nobody pisses off Ethereum on my watch. Oh, it's this dude over here. Well, good night, sir. I said good night, you're not dead yet. Why are you not dead? You just exploded. Oh, that totally missed. I was hoping to fire... Oh, sh... Very nearly avoided blowing myself up there! And it just goes to show you how good I am at this game. And of course, uh, missing at close range also helps. And I just totally exploded myself. And may have ended up somewhere where the game uh, doesn't intend me to go. No! Uh, in fact, I am perfectly within the level. No one. Okay, this Ethereum is... not hostile? What is over here? There's something over here that's... Uh, no, it's this... Not Carjo, it is... This Xylus got blowed up, but it survived somehow. 
So where were we? Um, I was opening up my map here, but I don't want to take a chance with the game crashing, so... Oh, hi, that's what you look like, alive, and on your knees. Why are you on your knees? Is that Zylus praying? Because this is a temple. So I guess it would sort of make a twisted form of sense. But yeah, enough praying. Start dying, please. Uh, and over here is something. An elsewhere flag for some ungodly reason. This is a very strange place. I mean, like, really, really strange, but it's just so cool. So, so atmospheric, just like the rest of the mod. Oh, crap, you move fast. Okay, this is turning out to be more of a fight than I ever expected. This is seriously getting like Diablo 3. With all of the hostile stuff. Boom! Okay, um, and then there's a nestling that's going to be a minor nuisance. And over, over here, Sarah's just going to stand there like a perfect amateur. Wow, that flew up my face. Yeah, you did. It was called Things Trying to Attack You, Serana. And are they dead? Yep. So, anywhere, uh, anyway, over here, the Elsewhere flag? Is this where we came in? Uh, I'm not sure. I think we were standing on a platform when we first entered the area. But how do we get up there? There must be a way. Um, up here... And then, uh, nope, up here, I set up here, and then cross this, and, yep, not exactly easy, but you can do it, elsewhere hideout, so, back to, um, hopefully continue the quest, I'm not sure, actually, hmm, That that would be nice if the quest would actually continue. I I talked to the right people, and well, this loading screen is taking a very long time. There we go. It's starting now. Cause I talked to. Okay, let's see. I have a feeling we went wrong somewhere. Somewhere, but I'm just going to um check. Strange indeed. So I guess now we just have to find, uh, uh what was her face? Uh, I, I guess we just have to find whoever I'm looking for. She's bound to be around here somewhere. Is she up on the plinth? The, the thing? Yeah, she's gotta be... Yeah, she's right here. Let's go talk to her, Yura. Greetings, Yura. People are happy with your progress. You grow stronger every time they see you. Of course I do, I'm the Dovahkiin. What are the Palmar? They're the brothers and sisters. There are many types of Khajiit. Although the Palmar look better, they too follow the moon and their way. Hmm. Well then. I was supposed to... Ah, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Um... So... That was... Th this is weird. The quest is, I think, supposed to continue, so I don't know. Um, I'll do a jump cut and return in a second. Okay, so basically you have to see this guy, Mer Mervar Dinfriend, and then he gives you a quest to go talk to this dude. Yeah. Very involved quest there. What do you do here? Er, no. Mervar insists you vouch for me. He seems agitated. Mervar got but he can be stubborn. Just tell him to stop being an old, or I will twist his ears. Okay. 
What's going on here anyway? Why is Miravar so paranoid? The kingdoms of elsewhere are now a Talmor protectorate. But this does not mean everyone is a compliant vassal to their delusions. Hmm. Oh yes, you people are rebels as well. Indeed. And all this moon sugar is going straight into our new maid's coffers. Hence Mervar's caution. Talmor spies are everywhere. Hmm. Okay, so go see Kame. Ah, oh, great. Okay, thanks guys. You knocked me into a river for the millionth time this week. Um, okay, yeah. So, talk to Murivar. Kamel says he'll twist your ears. Sure. Why not? My twin Derva is scouting near the Denmark of Death. Go and see if he's alive, please. Sure thing. How do I find your brother? He will stand up. He is too shy about it. Right here. Just follow the path behind this door. Lead straight to the Denmark of Death. Okay. Thanks. Um, so yeah, through that door that he could have gone through at any time but chose not to. Can I loot your... No, I won't do it. Okay, so the Tinmar Din, probably going to be filled with a lot more enemies. Okay, so here we've got this and then... Hold on. Yeah, that... I don't know exactly why that's there, but you just go through the door and turn to the left, and it's right here. Oh, hello! Well, this is immediate. Um, let's see here. Where's some Thalmer? Right there's one. Come on, hit the Thalmer wizard. No. Okay, so we're gonna have to wind up blowing this dude off the staircase, or not? Or, yeah. Try to get that within range, if possible. And uh, who are you? What? Okay. No, you don't mess with the Palmar. Not on my watch, bitch. And then Thalmor's soldier right up here. I don't like having to run to all this crap. And my fears are well justified. Let's get back down here because I just lost a crap ton of health with one attack. Um, and then move around and try to get, uh, this guy. I'm presuming that Imga Brute is on that platform. He was not. Harjo, move, please. And, uh, yeah, let's quite quickly try to join that fight before they steal all of our glory. Uh, so, try to get at that Inga brute. Yeah! Just blew him right off the freaking. Well, I thought. Or right off the freaking platform. There goes the downward wizard. No, he's still alive. Well. See you on the moon! Where'd he go? Seriously, I think we may have just created a one person Nern orbiter. Goodness me. Well, that was quite, uh, quite something. If you ever wanted to learn how to, uh, succeed at Kerbal Space Program, there you go. All you need is one Argonian shadow scale, uh, one explosive fire arrow, and a bow, and you're in space. So, that is how I play Kerbal Space Program, and... I have been GP75 Motorsports, and I'll see you guys in the next video. GP75, out! No. <laughs> uh, okay, so what's up here? Um, this guy, for one thing, in a very perilous staircase. Are you alright?
They call me Dovahkiin. Your brother sent, uh, sent me to see if you're alright. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too! He's just standing there by the freaking door. He, he could just take five steps and be over there and, you know, uh, yeah, he's just like four freaking seconds away. He's got a great sword, so he could probably deal some serious damage to these dudes. And he's just standing there, not being a very good brother, and just telling me to do it. Because he doesn't know me. I, we met like two minutes ago. Mervar, your decisions make a lot of sense, buddy. A lot of sense. Okay, so your brother, who almost died, is still alive. And you're just standing here... Taking all that guy's moon sugar. I could bitch slap you with a key, you idiot. So what's next? Okay, airship. Hold on, what? Uh, that makes no sense. Airship? I mean, I've got a spaceship, but an airship? Yeah. Must be something new. We need to learn more. Take a passage near the fireworks. Use this key. Find the captain's orders. Okay. Um, will do. Take care of the Thalmor Basin. What? Um, quests. Uh, take care of the Thelmer base and find the captain's orders. Okay, will do. Uh, so let's save real quick here. Almost, I thought it was going to crash there and there. And, um... So, what was the... Uh, okay, so we need to go through here and to the airship area thing that crashed my game last time I was in it. Hmm. Okay, so what is up with this mod and starting the freaking areas off immediately with badass freaking enemies? And how are you still alive? I just blew you up. Okay, so what's over here? Let's just... Okay, the airships. There's an Emperor brood there. And a Thalmor wizard. Very sneakily cause a massive explosion. There we go. And... Fail our purple space broken launch. And then deal with this guy. Come on, hit him. Yes! And they're all going to stream down this one ramp like idiots. I'm just going to take them out systematically like... Boom! And... Boom! And there we go! And we've got a couple of... Well, quite a few uh, casualties come to think of it. And yeah, here we go! This is the next stage of the quest. With the apprentice level lock here. Let's see. Okay, boom, that's open. And Captain's Patrol Orders and Ebony Armor of Extreme Destruction, Carjo's Armor. Okay, return to Miravar. You know what? I just realized this is one heck of a long episode. Uh. But it's about to be even longer, because I think... 
No, actually, let, let, let's not do that. Let's just go ahead and end this video here. Um, uh, well, I certainly hope you enjoyed today's little bit of modding Bliss Moon Path to Elsewhere. Um, and yeah, and if you like the video, uh, uh, thumb it up, uh, comment, face, subscribe, and do all that stuff, and then go over to the Nexus uh, and um, give Moon Path to Elsewhere a huge, awesome, well, just as awesome as the rest. I go over and give Moon Path to Elsewhere a huge download, and yeah, I'm just going to try to cut those other two, maybe. But yeah, um, if you like what you see here, and really, who wouldn't, because look at this, um, then make sure to go and give Moon Path Elsewhere a massive download. And welcome back. I keep blundering up this last line. Probably gonna, I'm probably going to attach some bloopers, but... Um, if you like what you see here, then... Make sure to visit the link in the description and give Moon Path Elsewhere a download, maybe endorse it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video when we continue our journey along the moon paths in Elsewhere. And I will see you guys in the next video. Cheapy Sunny 5, out!